changes. What's he going to do now? Well, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. As you can see, trains are now running again over the replaced section all over this bit. The window has been completed, so the green light has been going, given to go ahead with the build. Pending um, materials and uh, money, of course. So, I did mention some changes. So what are they going to be all about? Well, it's basically to do with the track, this area. Well, not so much this area, but more this area. In particular, that crossover. Um, I've been thinking about it for quite a while. And the reason being is because this scenery just comes to a sudden stop. Now, the bridge coming through at this point there's got to be some kind of entrance and I'll have to have a think about that very carefully but I would like to extend that to at least this area here so I've got to test it and propose and um, check it out whether it's actually going to work or not but my point my thought is to put a point here and connect back up to this line around about here so which actually would bring the whole thing along a little bit and give me that much more extra workspace if you like. Now they're not everybody's favourite. If this works and more particularly if this and its counterpart will go across it in this direction along the new proposed line down to here which will just be a normal long radius point like so. And I've got to be quick because the pendolino is coming back. But you can see that is a long radius right hand point. And if I've got a better one, I'll use that. But I've got a feeling this one will probably be fine, to be honest. So what I'm proposing is to make that connection, but leave that in for the time being, just in case this doesn't work. Because I've always got this to fall back on. And um, just see what happens. We'll take it one step at a time. So I'll come back to you very, very shortly. Well, you'll have to forgive me, it is a little bit on the messy side, but you can see I've now got the new link track in. Um, and the pendolino is coming at a reasonable pace, not full chat clearly, but uh, I did try it at full chat and it started to derail somewhere over here. So it's not necessarily um, that junction that's caused the problem, but that's going in that particular direction. I'll just watch, let you watch that one more time going around. And I've also done something else, uh, but I'll just let you watch that. Seems to be okay. It was those back three coaches that were doing the issues. But what I've also done is move this track this way a little bit, just to soften that curve, uh, because this point wasn't quite sitting properly. In fact, there's a lip there. Just notice that, so I need to sort that out which I'll do in a second, but even just across another centimetre or so is just taken out a little bit of that uh, kink at that point. Anyway, I'll catch you shortly. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, this has been a bit of a challenge, getting this bit to work. And it's not the bit I thought it was going to be. Um, this crossover here that I've just put in, seems to be absolutely fine as you can see no issues at all as long as I take it fairly steady it was this that was causing the problem this crossover here um, see and the power units just fell off there as well so I've got obviously got to sort that out and there were some issues on this crossover here with some of the coaches well see for yourself I've finally managed to get the 
um, handling no running round. Not so much this section, but I had a problem with this crossover. Now I think if I go relatively slowly, bearing in mind that the eight, the Pendolino would be coming from the shed on its way back to Manchester, I think that will be fine. Um, I did run just the power unit um, through on full chat and it literally just fell off the track. Right, welcome back. So you can see now that that track that I've just put in now is gluing, hence all the weights, and it's given me the opportunity to glue other parts of the layout that are sort of work loose. Like for example, there's a weight over on the points over there. Um, but anyway, <coughs> it's um, allowed me to make some decisions. This track seems to be working okay. So that means I can have these two points out, this crossover, allowing this back scene to travel along. So I need, to, once this is out, I'll put another bracket um, around about here, or maybe even a bit closer, so that the new back scene can then just join up seamlessly. There will be a gap, there will be a join here, um, and I'm not going to um, hide that, um, purely because, like I said, if the boards do need to come apart, then I still can take them apart. But also, it means I can move this crossover further down this way so that this point can be in this position. Um, so it's still not breaching the line of the boards, but um, allows any train that comes down this way not to have to travel too far down the wrong line. So that's should... right, welcome back. So I've completed the changes that I want to make for this time round. Obviously, when I come to do this area up here, there's going to be some massive changes. Um, so I'll explain more about that another time. So you can see now that this crossover has now moved from there to here. You might be thinking, well, what's the point of doing that? Well, re the main, re main reason is so that it shortens the distance. It has to, the train has to travel before crossing over to the correct line. Um, I don't want it to go too far on the wrong line as such. Um, you might say to me, well, why didn't I put the middle here so that the crossover sort of came across this bit and it would make it direct from this point as well? Well, the main reason for that is, one, because I've got the middle of the joint, the middle of the crossover in the middle of the boards, and there's three points of contact, which is always a bit difficult to negotiate if I have to take it apart. But not only that, when this track comes over, there'll be one single track comes over and comes over to make the bridge, you know, into the bridge, it will cross over pretty much at this point, and so therefore the the bridge will end up in the middle or of the crossover, which I wanted to avoid at all costs. Um, so moving on then, you will realise, or you remember that I put this point in here and made the crossover from here. So now any train coming from the shed will come down here and straight onto the inside line which is going back south or you know back north uh, and then that allows then a much longer run on the back scene now note on that back scene what i might do is bring this scene the sky section down further down 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 and then so it's more the outline of the buildings if there are any buildings that i need to negotiate and then it would be so much easier to put a wall behind them on this side um, I'm not totally sure at the minute I'm gonna have to think about it um, I might end up having to stop it here because uh, there's not a lot of space so I'll have to think now as part of that what I also did was to move this track that way a little bit which would give me a tiny little bit more room so I will move these brackets over a bit more and so you can see now that 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 track coming in used to come down here. So that's been moved over a little bit to straighten that out as well. So that looks a lot better than that. Um, the other thing I've done is that I've replaced this point or the, the point that was here, it was a right hand. There was nothing wrong with it. It's I just didn't think it looked right. So to a left and a right now looks a lot better than what it did having a right and a right. Um, now, what I ideally would love to do is to replace these two points with long radius. But if you notice on the board, I've got the edge of the board here. So that's one, two, three, four, five points.
points one directly after the other and so there's no way I can get long radius points into that gap. You can see how much longer the long radius is compared to the medium. So, and even then it's got this extra bit down the bottom here. So, you know, you're looking potentially another two inches there with the bit down here as well. So it's four more inches. It's not going to work, is it? So from that point of view, um, I can't shove this point onto that board either because it would mean that these tracks here would be considerably shortened and not only that this area is pretty much finished i don't really want to be digging it all up again had to um obviously dig up the ballast for that but it won't be difficult to rebalance when i do this line i can just balance right up to that point there as well so that should be nice and easy um the final change coming round now you might be thinking, what's he showing us now? Well, you may remember me saying that this track or these two tracks going up towards New Mills, that track all the way along, all the way along, and they effectively would come across there, join back up with this. Um, they're not powered at the moment, so any train doesn't move. So those those are literally just stored there at the moment, so that, those two units and the 220. Um, so what I've done is I had to remove both of the rails, which is a piece of flexi track, and solder the, the wires onto it whilst it's off the board because I've got a shelf here, as you probably realise, and I can't physically get the drill into that gap and drill a hole vertically. So what I've had to do is remove the holes and then drill them at an angle. So they're probably 45 degree holes going sort of through the board that way. As long as it gets to the other side of the board, it doesn't really make the slightest jot of difference, to be honest. So, but that's a way of getting those two tracks wired up. And then hopefully I won't need to put any more droppers in at least until I get to this point here. And then I think this has already got droppers on it. Yes, there's some droppers there. So this point is, or this section here is already electrified, but obviously it needs to be connected up to that bit at the back there, but that will be done soon. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave the video just there and um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the different changes. I bet you wondered what was gonna happen now and am I gonna start ripping all this up and start doing it again? No, 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 it's taken three years to get to this point. So I'm gonna declare that station finished very soon once I've wired up these signals. Um, but that's, that's a video coming soon. I just fancied a bit of a change, to be honest. All right, anyway, just take care of yourself and I will see you again very soon here on Piccadilly. Bye for now.